Hi there, my name is Paul. Thank you very much for joining me. Behind me today, I've got the L1 H1 Peugeot Expert in Cumulus Grey. Just want to take you on a quick walk around, show you some of the features and the benefits that this amazing van has got that can be offered to you and to your business. So, let's have a look around. Okay, so this is the Peugeot Expert L1 H1. Now, First thing I want to tell you about is the warranty. So pre-registered vehicle, you do get the full manufacturer's warranty that starts on the date the vehicle was first registered. On top of that, we've also applied a triple layer Gardex treatment to this vehicle. Now what that does, it helps to give you some protection against any negative effects of things like UV from sunlight, acidity and rainwater, anything that's gonna cause premature aging, dimming or deterioration to that absolutely lovely finish. Now walking around the vehicle, there is an extras kit that we have already applied to this vehicle. So starting off, you've got those lovely color-coded trims and bumpers. We've got those lovely black alloy wheels as well that come with that. We've also got the tail fin there on the top of the back doors. Coming down the sides again on the near side now, you can also see you've got the side bars on the bottom and the roof bars up there on the top. Whilst we're on the near side of the vehicle, your diesel filler cap is just there above the near side rear wheel arch. And opening the passenger door just in that lower corner there, that's where you've got the add blue filler port. One thing you may have noticed as well, really nice feature of the Peugeot Experts, you've got twin side sliding doors. So no matter where you're parked, no matter if you're up close to a bush, You've always got easy access to either side of the vehicle because you can get in from the other one. So, let's have a look inside. Okay, so we're over on the near side of the vehicle looking in through the sliding door there on the side. Now, in terms of the access to the side of this vehicle, you've got an aperture of 98 centimeters across. I've measured that at the smallest point just there, as you can see. I've gone from the top of the step to the top of the door frame and you've got 122 centimeters. So 98 by 122 on that back door. Now in terms of storage in the back whilst we're here, I'm just gonna point out that in addition to the storage in this cargo space, you've got an additional 45 centimeters underneath the passenger seats courtesy of the flap in the bulkhead. You've also got the maxi storage system. So we're just gonna pull on that blue tag there. Now that's gonna enable us to make full use of the access coming from the back straight through into the front, giving us an additional 55 centimeters, one meter extra in total going through there. So really, really nice functional load space that you've got there. Just moving around now to the back of the vehicle. Now the aperture on this back door, you've got 127 centimeters across, measured by 122 centimeters high. And again, I've measured that from the center of the mound there where the door hooks are. Now in terms of physical storage space, in terms of width, you've got 125 centimeters across. You've got 130 centimeters, that's going from the floor to the bottom of the ribs on the ceiling. And then from the bulkhead there, measured all the way along the floor to the back, 243 centimeters of decent usable storage length. So lots and lots of space in the back there. The spare wheel, as you can see, you do get with the vehicle. That's placed underneath at point of sale. We just keep them in the back for a bit of security whilst on site. Now, looking at your doors, they do open out to 90 degrees, as you can see. However, if you've got someone parked close behind or for any other reason at all, you just need a bit of extra accessibility. All we're going to do is pull on that little catch there. That's going to enable us to open those doors all the way out to 180 degrees. And that's going to really maximize our access to that back storage area. So loads of nodes going on there for us. Let's jump around to the cab and have a look in there. Okay, so moving into the vehicle on the driver's side, lots and lots of storage options as you can see there in the door channels, electronically controlled windows and central locking. Looking at your seats, you've got three fully adjustable headrests there, so maximum convenience for all in the van. You've got the adjuster for the tilt of the backrest on the driver's seat and the height adjuster there as well. 
You've also got a pull down armrest for added convenience for the driver. And there's a wheel just underneath that there. And that's the lumbar support. So the driver has got additional comfort as well. You've also got that pull down hard surface. That's really useful for any invoicing, billing or journal entries. And you've also got additional storage there underneath the second passenger seat as well. Jumping up into the driver's seat now. Okay, so clutch down, and as you see, the vehicle starts up nice and easy first time. No warning lights on that dash display either, which is perfect. Delivery miles only, really nice, easy to read, crystal clear display. Now, we've got menus that we can go through on that dash display. We can show exactly what information we want that to show. And all I'm doing is using the button there on the end of the wiper control stalk to go through that. Now, talking of which, the wipers, you've got automatic wipers with this vehicle. You've also got automatic headlights. Underneath the headlight controls, you've got the remote there for cruise control options. On the lower right, you've got the remote for the media system. Moving over from there into the middle now, and you've got a six speed manual gearbox with this vehicle. That's complementing that 1.5 litre Blue HDI engine underneath the bonnet. You've got some storage behind there. You've got the USB input there as well, 12 volt charging point up above that in the middle and you've got the climate controls so with the climate controls as you can see it's already switched on there aircon is included with this vehicle underneath that just to the right there you've also got heated wing mirrors as well so lots and lots of options on there and lots of comfort for you moving over sideways you've got more storage you've got a nice large glove box just there as well You've also got storage up top in the middle along with a cup holder at each extreme of the dash. Looking at the media system now, so fully touchscreen system, you've got some different driving options on there, you've got options for the automatic stop start, just going across there and you've also got your lighting options and some safety options as well. Now coming down to the media options, so you've got DAB radio included with this vehicle amongst your AM and FM bands. You've got lots of settings that you can go through as well to configure the screen, language options. You've also got an SMS reader and a photo viewer on there as well. Now as well as being able to use the vehicle for hands-free calling and media streaming when you've got a Bluetooth connective device attached, You've also got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and MirrorLink included. So if you connect your phone via the USB below, that's going to give you options there to mirror your phone onto this device. Really useful if you're using things like the Waze SatNav app, uh, anything at all like that, Google Maps, Android Maps, anything like that's going to come straight up on this screen for you. Up above on the top, you've also got the SOS emergency call button as well. So hopefully you'd never need to use that, but nice to have that safety feature there just in case. And one last quick look around, really nicely finished. Everything's nice and easy, accessible, really well laid out. Fantastic vehicle, fantastic quality for money as well. Okay. So thank you very much for taking the time to have a look around the Peugeot Expert with me. I'm sure you'd agree, fantastic vehicle. Loads and loads of features there to benefit you and your business, along with that extra kit that we've put on there that gives a really nice visual finish to the vehicle itself. I'm sure you'd agree, fantastic van, fantastic value for money as well. So anything at all we can do to assist with the purchase, please let us know. It'll be a pleasure to help you out however possible. Aside from that, if you can do me one favour personally, hit that five star review button for me. That would be greatly appreciated on my part. Once again, thank you very much for your time. Have a fantastic day ahead. We'll look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. Bye now.